Here, I have every single wardrobe essential in men's fashion that you might need, and I'm gonna rank them so that you know what to prioritize buying this holiday season. I wired this down to the science of style versatility, rewearability, and timelessness. And the essence of a wardrobe essential is being able to style it and just throw it on anytime as fast as possible, especially in times where you have no time and no planning so that you'll still look good throwing on whatever you have laying around on your couch. Nothing beats consistent, low effort, solid style. Bruce Lee once said, fear not the man that's practiced a thousand kicks one time, but rather fear the man that's practiced the same kick a thousand times. But actually, that he's wrong not in fashion you want to be the guy that's going to be able to pull off a thousand fits not the same not the guy that pulls off the same bit a thousand times so let's get started again this is all my opinion but uh feel free to take it as your own we're going to start with arguably the most important part of building a fit anyways a very important essential in your wardrobe your shoes this is what you're going to build on top of and here we go the first one we got the all white sneaker from vans common projects to Air Force Ones, just pretty much everything all white and casual. This is definitely my most worn shoe throughout my entire style progression because I know I can just throw it on and it'll work, probably. I've probably said this before, but it's kind of like the rice of your wardrobe, you know, like it also looks like rice, so it's easy to remember. But you know, it's it kind of goes with everything. It's a good foundation. You got your white rice, you got your brown rice, you got your fried rice. So for how high the stats are across the board, I'm gonna have to start off strong and give this one the S tier. Next up, we got the equally appreciated canvas sneaker from old schools to Chuck's, pretty much anything with a canvas body and a rubber sole. This has a lot of versatility due to the silhouette, but also a lot of creativity due to the introduction of color schemes. But unlike the all white, sneaker I feel like canvas shoes really find their sweet spot in the more street and sporty casual side of fashion so if your wardrobe's kind of tailored towards that this is definitely an essential for you but there are a lot of creative ways to work this into a lot of different styles and for that I'm going to have to give it the A tier and next we dive deeper into the streetwear sportier style of fashion we got the trainer anything from the New Balance 990s all the way to the Yeezy Wave Runner if you want to stretch the bounds of what you may call essential the spice here is boundless, but the trends weigh heavy on the silhouette and style cues. Again, it's another shoot tailored towards that casual street side of fashion, but this one I feel like is a bit more constricted than the canvas sneaker. And personally, I haven't really been on a trainer run lately. I used to, but regardless of my bias, I really still think it's a good shoe to have into your wardrobe, especially if you're going for that look. And for that, I'm gonna give it the B tier. Also derbies, loafers, this genre of shoe, just for people that still have a favorite band. It's an alternate to the trainer, and I feel like it does what the trainer does for athleisure, but rather for grungier styles. And for that, I'm gonna have to also give it the B tier. And now, we're moving up in life. Literally, up your ankles. It's boot time, baby. Black leather boots. Chelsea's combat boots. Get your goddamn docks out. This is such an essential piece. I feel like you can really go anywhere from here. And also in terms of quality and, and how much you can wear it, your dollar is going to stretch as far as the universe will go until it reaches entropy. Energy cannot be created nor destroyed. It can only age like fine wine. So I'm gonna have to give this the S tier. The suede boot, the trendier, younger, more enticing brother to the leather boot. It's also a good addition to the squad. It's not as versatile though, I'd say, as it's a bit more trendy and uh, falls at the mercy of the elements. And so for that, I'm gonna have to give this the B tier. But shoes in general are such a major part of any outfit and wardrobe in general, as if you have a really good essential pair of shoes that you trust and know how to style around, you can kind of just throw on anything on top of it and know it'll work well you'll be more likely to look good especially in times when you're lazy like most of the time like imagine if you were out and you met your favorite artist or someone that you look up to and your outfit was whack because you were lazy how you would just remember that and cringe in the shower five years later the worst thing you can do when meeting someone new is look bad smell bad and wet handshake and the last one you got to figure out yourself but the first two i got you covered with this video and its sponsor Scentbird.com. Scentbird is a monthly subscription service where you can sample over hundreds of designer fragrances without having to commit to a bottle. Why would you commit to one bottle and smell like one thing forever? Like, why do you smell like flamed oak and eucalyptus at this gym? But when you get your order, it'll come in this vial that's good for 120 sprays. 
And let's do the math here again. 120 sprays, maybe use it once a day. So two sprays a day, that's 60 days per vial. And this one, I actually just finished this one and it took me three months. You know why? Because I have options, because Scentbird gives you options. And these are my options now. I've been running through these three lately. Arquiste's Non-Bond, which is very smoky and saturated. I've been wearing this to stuff like parties where there's gonna be a lot of people to smell me. This one's Bentley Silver Lake, which I wear as whenever I'm flexing. I kind of like to wear this as a setting spray whenever I have an outfit that's going crazy. It's very clean, sharp, and refreshing. And this last one has been the go-to for most of my life recently, and it's Urich Lang New York Fragrances Apsu. Scentbird recommended this to me, and I trusted them. And honestly, it's been the most interesting scent I've ever had. It's the most unique smelling thing I have. It smells like a fruit market. I know that sounds kind of weird but you're gonna have to trust me. It's very unique and subtle and refreshing, but everyone's different. If you wanna figure out what works for you, you can take the quiz. They have a quiz on their website that can kind of figure out your lifestyle and what you're into and give you a scent based on that, or you can sort by highest rated. Save yourself some time and get with the best. If you can't beat them, join them. Copy my scent. Go to scentbird.com now. So go to scentbird.com now and use code FRUGAL3 at checkout. You'll get 30% off, making it $11. And also, Scentbird's available in Canada now, so go check them out. All my links will be in the description. Remember, FRUGAL3, 30% off. It's $11. Anyways, uh, hygiene. I'm not even joking, wardrobe essential, S tier, and this is not a joke. I'll say it again, I don't care how you look if I don't like how you smell, take care of yourself. I'm not even talking just scents, I'm just, just take care of yourself. Moving on to the next part of your body, we got jeans, your bottoms, and we're gonna start with my most worn pair of all time, skinny jeans. Skinny, slim, whatever you wanna call it, just form-fitting jeans in general. In my opinion, this is the most versatile thing that you can own in terms of pants. I feel like it's very flattering, very no brain, you don't really have to think Think too much, you can kind of just toss them on at any given day and have a good time. This will go a long way throughout your style progression. So as a wardrobe essential, I'm gonna have to give it the A tier. And now we got straight fit pants, the new flavor of the month. It's a nice switch up from slim skinny jeans. It's very versatile, very easy to style. And even though I feel like vintage pants specifically are very trendy, I think the straight fit cut in general has a lot of promise. And I can see this going a long way in the modern style meta. So I'm gonna have to give this the B tier. Another flavor of the month, we got cargo pants, the sportier utilitarian version of the straight fit pants. This is even more trendy. And I feel like a lot of people are on this now, but I don't think it's as essential as a nice fitted pair of regular pants, no pockets. So for that, I'm gonna have to give it the C tier. And I know a lot of people are mad right now, but you can complain about it on tiktok.com. Fabric trousers, high skill cap, endless possibility. Is it an essential? That's up for debate, I don't know. There's a lot of options here. There's a lot of different fabrics and stuff to choose from, so pick your poison, but in my opinion, it's not as essential. You can eventually get around to building those for your wardrobe, but starting off as an essential, I'm gonna have to give it the C tier. Joggers. There are so many better options. D tier. Track pants are a pretty cool, sporty variant, but not necessarily essential. I'm gonna give it the C tier, even though I love them. They're not essential and they're very tied down to a certain style. Moving on to shorter cuts, we got shorts. Six inch shorts, just any kind, chinos, whatever. Just basic shorts, I feel like, uh, speak for themselves. Kind of go with everything. Timeless classic. A tier. And now, fabric shorts, riding up a huge wave right now and also very easy to just throw on and get along with your day, but definitely not as versatile as just regular chino shorts or regular shorts, so I'm gonna have to give it the B tier, but I do suggest people hop on that, especially when it gets kinda hot. Moving up to tops, we got a lot going on here. Basic tees, I don't really know, I can't, I feel like I don't have to say anything here. It's pretty, they speak for themselves. Probably the most essential thing on here next to hygiene. So for that, I'm gonna have to give it the S tier. You can't really argue. This is the, this is the clothing. Like when you think of clothes, like this is, Clothing, you know, like this is clothes. This is the OG clothes Like this is like <laughs> What the f am I saying? Oversized tees are next in line another infinitely possible piece that you can kind of just chuck on and leave Obviously the oversized trend has kind of taken over every single style But I feel like these are so easy to just throw on anyways That it doesn't matter what style you have this is just a good thing to have in your wardrobe. A tier. Next we got long sleeves, and honestly, I don't really middle child energy, and I don't think about them too much, really. If you're gonna get a long sleeve, just get a crew neck, you know? 
D tier. F it. Controversy. Crew next. Solid. The best word for it, and probably the only word I need for it. Another timeless piece. S tier. Hoodies as well. I feel like it's crazy how much a nice, basic hoodie or crew neck will just instantly elevate anybody's style. Like someone that has zero drip and throws on a regular, nice quality hoodie, heavyweight hoodie, just instantly dripped or crew neck. And I don't think you'll ever get flack for wearing a lot of essential hoodies and crew necks. And you'll always look good. And I feel like that's the essence of an essential. So S tier, essence. That's the essence of an essential. Okay, time for some controversy, baby. You asked for it. Turtlenecks. The LLC of your wardrobe. We get it, bro. You watch Gary V. All right? Multiple streams of income. I get it, you know? Invest early. Rise and grind. Wake up early. I understand what you mean. Why are you wearing a turtleneck at 5 a.m.? F tier. Flannels. The tote bag that you can wear. If lo-fi hip-hop beats the study to were an article of clothing. I feel like these had an insane run over the past couple years and good wardrobe essential. I mean, you can throw them on, look good, but I feel like they will always kind of carry the stigma of the fog era. And so for that, C tier. I don't know, when I see flannels, I just think of the mall. Like you, anyone in a flannel just belongs in the mall. Like if I meet someone in a flannel, like my thought was like this, where were you just at the mall? <laughs> also like anyone with a flannel, like you just need a tote bag. You know what, let's just throw totes in there too. Totes, C tier. But it's getting kind of cold now. It's time to layer, we gotta wear some jackets and why not start with one of the biggest jackets of the past couple years, the bomber jacket. It's a controversial one because I feel like people kind of just assume this is a jacket that everybody needs and that everyone should try out. But you know what? I'm gonna go against the grain and say that this is not an essential. I feel like bomber jackets are overrated. They're cool. You know, there's a lot of possibilities with here. Like, trust me, I love bomber jackets. I have like three that I love and I wear all the time, but as a wardrobe essential. And also when you think of bomber as an essential, you're thinking of this one or this one. And I don't know, I feel like it's not that cool. So, and that they need a break and that it's not an essential because it's not something that you can wear with everything. You're bound to one style with this, kind of. I'll get the same vibe from anybody that wears the bomber jacket, this one. So no, I don't think it's uh, essential and I don't think it's as cool as people say it is. I'm giving it the C tier, I don't care, I don't care. But what's a jacket that I feel like you really get your run for your money? Leather jackets. A proper, simple, quality leather jacket will be there for you all the time. It's like the same vibe as the black leather boot. This will be your second skin. I feel like this is something that will that is timeless and it's gonna live longer than you if you treat it properly. Definitely more versatile than that goddamn bomber jacket. Bro, I'm just gonna say I don't care. Bomber jackets are mid. Oh my god, TikTok's gonna have a frenzy. I don't give a Bomber jackets are mid. Like I said, I love my rough bombers, but these bombers, Paxun bombers, regular bombers, mid. I'm starting a war. I don't care. I'm opening the gates. Load your clips. Bombers are, I'll say it again. Bombers are mid. Anyways, leather jackets, A tier. I love them. Denim jackets are cool too. I'll give, I'll give it to that. They're very timeless. I feel like this is a real timeless piece and they will look better in time. They will age well. I'll give this the B tier. Windbreakers are kind of hot now too with the uh, hype of Gore-Tex and Arc'teryx on the rise. I've always really loved windbreakers and that type of material as you can kind of go to a thrift shop and get some for dirt. And I think also in terms of utility, and functionality, this is probably one of the most useful pieces you're gonna have in your wardrobe in terms, like when it rains, if it's kind of cold, but not really cold, just breezy, break the wind with a windbreaker. I'm giving this the A tier. Also, there's a lot of versatility here too. There's so many different styles. A plain coat is a no brainer. It's very easy to wear. It's very flattering on almost anyone. And it's classic. It's a timeless piece, giving it the B tier. Cardigans, acquired taste. I feel like this goes style to style, person to person. Not the biggest fan anymore, but I used to be. But I don't think they're essential. I don't think you need them. C tier. Go ahead, have a field day. Moving on to pieces that act more as an accessory, but are still pretty essential headwear. Hats and beanies have such a large range and can kind of go all over the place. So I'm kind of, I'm just going to group them together. And I feel like this is something that can be both a statement piece and a supportive piece at any given time. And this is something that you can just throw on. Having a bad hair day, throw on. Need something just real quick, throw on. Hats, very useful. Beanies when it's cold. This is like also the essence of an essential. 
So also I'm gonna have to give this the S tier. Rings have been around forever, but I'm so happy that they're making their way into the casual space and that guys are finally looking at this and going, maybe I am maybe I can wear rings. And even though they're not essential, I feel like they do so much for your outfit, for how small they are visually. And I'm biased, I don't care. It's my channel, it's my video, I worked my whole life for this, so I'm giving it the A tier. You can knock it down if you want, but I'm leaving it up there. Necklaces and chains, very similar to rings as they're an accessory, and I'm just happy now that guys and more casual people are starting to hop on this. And even though it's not necessarily essential again, I'm always an advocate for the devil as long as he's in the details. But I'm gonna give it the C tier. Maybe the B tier. Superposition again, we're doing B and C tier, just depends on the day. Moving on to watch, I feel like a good watch really ties a fit together, it doesn't have to be a Rolex or something that you're gonna flex, just something on your wrist, it's timeless, timeless. Watch, oh. Bro, I like did not write that, that just happened. Anyways, but I, I feel like you can get a really cheap watch and it'll do so much for your fit and also, before you know it, you're wearing it every day, you know? And then you're like, oh my God, I don't have my watch on, I'm naked. And that's when you know it's an essential. When you don't have it on, you're like, dude, what am I doing? Glasses and shades are essential, don't at me. S tier. Side bags aren't necessarily essential, but I feel like as a visual accessory and in terms of utility, they do a lot for you. And I'm happy that we're also seeing a rise in the use of satchels and clutches and side bags for men and casual people. And I would always push for that. And for that, I'm giving it the B tier. Yes, I'm ranking it above totes. Anyways, here's the official wardrobe essentials tier list. And if you don't like it, you're wrong. And also if you want to fight me, you can find me on stream at my Twitch, twitch.tv slash fans at the Met Gala. Bombers are mid, spread the word, TikTok. I know you're watching. Bombers are mid, okay. Everybody with a bomber and friggin' double knee car, uh, car hearts, come fight me, you know where I'll be. I'll be live, on the air. I'll be there all day. And um, special thanks to Semperd for sponsoring today's video. Go get Semperd right now and also just go get my scent. Just, I'm serious. Go try Apsu. I'm telling you, the link is in the description. I'm Just try it and get it as the first order. And you just, you can smell like me. I don't care. I'll probably be rotating by now anyways because I've been using Semperd for years. Thank you for watching and I hope this helps.